Hi, my name is Devin, thermographer here at T-Equipment, and today we're going to be looking at two cameras, the FLIR C5 and the Fluke PTI-120. Uh, as far as the raw specifications go, the FLIR has a 160 by 120 pixel resolution, and the Fluke has a 120 by 90. So, more pixels means more resolution and clearer images. So the higher numbers are better. For sensitivity, the FLIR C5 has a better than 70 millikelvin sensitivity, and the Fluke has a 60 millikelvin sensitivity. And in this case, smaller numbers are better. So 70 millikelvins translates to 0 0.07 degrees Celsius, and is the smallest temperature difference that the camera can detect. The Temperature range is going to be very important depending on your application. So for the Fluke, the standard temperature range is negative 20 to 150 degrees C. Um, there's a 400 degree C version of the PTI-120, but the base version is only up to 150. The FLIR, on the other hand, has a standard temperature range from negative 20 to 400 degrees C. So you don't need to think about it as much. Um, the battery life for the FLIR is four hours. On the Fluke, it's two hours. Um, the screen size is three and a half inches. You can see, um, well, this one's not odd. <laughs> but the Fluke is going to have a little bit more of a bezel as opposed to the FLIR, which is a little bit, a little bit closer to the screen. But they are exactly the same size at 3.5 inches with a, with a full capacitive touchscreen. Software features on the cameras um, line up pretty closely both going to have six different color measurement palettes. They both support uh, cloud reporting. So whether you're on Wi-Fi or connected to your phone, you can take an image and it will automatically upload to your account. Uh, FLIR's solution is called FLIR Ignite, and Fluke has their Fluke Connect. The other, the other big difference is going to be their image blending technology. So FLIR has what they call MSX, which is a where you take the visual image and they use an algorithm to pull out some details and overlay that with the thermal image, and that gives you a high degree of contrast and context. MSX is really the, the leading industry solution for that. Um, Fluke has what they call IR Fusion, which is more of a blending, where they change um, the opacity of the visual and then thermal and, and overlay them. So that can be quite good and all you need. Um, MSX is just a little more um, advanced and is proprietary to FLIR. I think that's that's about it for the the raw specs. Uh, so let's let's look at the the cameras and go through the menus and just see how they how they work. So here's what the FLIR C5 interface looks like. On the right here, you've got these capacitive buttons that light up for camera, gallery, and settings. Under settings, you can change your measurement parameters. Your camera temperature range. And then different options for using the FLIR Ignite uh, cloud software. And then in the camera mode, there's also an additional set of menus here with the three dots. Where you can change your image mode from MSX, pure thermal, camera, or picture in picture. Let's leave it in MSX for now. You can change your measurement points, adding different points. 
can change your color palettes. And you can change it from auto ranging to a manual ranging. On the fluke, you tap the screen and bring up the menu tray. Here we've got gallery and change the IR fusion here where you can swipe back and forth. Color palettes. different temperature points, whether or not you want the scale. Turn on the flashlight, change the backlight, and camera settings. Uh, flukes really into the asset tagging, so it supports QR codes and barcodes. You fluke connect, temperature settings. And you can see the, the FLIR had um, the ability to change your distance and relative humidity, which aren't always important, but, and you can do that in software, but it's nice to know that you can do it on camera with the FLIR. Well, there's the distance setting. It's just not where I expected. So you see I've got a little Little demo box with a couple of fuses uh, just to show one hot and one dead. Uh, and here are the, the camera side by side. Um, you can see the resolution really, really makes a difference. The FLIR, you can, you can make out the individual features. I've turned off the image blending, the MSX, so you can just see how the thermal resolution comes into play here and what a picture might look like. On top you've got the, the shutter, so it'll snap a little picture for you. Here's the fluke. You can see it, it says calibrating. All, all thermal imagers will do that. And they'll do it less frequently as they become acclimated to the local temperature. But what that's doing is closing a little mechanical shutter over the sensor and doing a little internal calibration. When you hit the shutter button on top, it'll tell you to save, scan the asset, edit, flag the image, or add a note. So here I've got a spot on my wall with a little bit of water damage, moisture intrusion. You can see the cooler spot where the water is. And that's because water has a higher thermal capacitance than other building materials. So as the sun hits the exterior, it warms up the concrete but the water tends to stay cooler and then it'll also evaporate and give a, a cooler surface temperature wherever there's water compared to dry spots. So this can be a great tool for doing home inspections, roofing inspections. I've turned back on the MSX on the FLIR so you can get a better idea of what I'm looking at. that auto rotate working for you and here's the fluke you can see the the same thing it's actually giving me much clearer indication um, the auto ranging is just a little bit better in this case I'm gonna put in a little bit of the background So the resolution is lower, but again, it does a perfectly good job. 
And there you have it. Now you've seen the FLIR C5 and the Fluke PTI 120. Uh, right now, the FLIR is on sale, T equipment for $559.99, and the Fluke is for $688 in the standard 150 degrees Celsius version. The 400C version is $899.99. And if you have any more questions, please give us a call. Uh, we'd be happy to have one of our product specialists talk to you about all of the different thermal options we offer. Again, my name is Devin, and thanks so much for watching our video.